Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the battle of drugstore versus high-end. So half of my face is drugstore and half of it is all high-end. Um, you can go ahead and take a guess which one is which right now because they look identical and I'm very shocked by the end of this video. So if you are interested in hearing about some good high-end dupes, then just keep on watching. I feel like I'm in like Battle of the Bands or something. Or like, you know when like rappers like one person raps and then the next person raps and then the next person raps and then the next person raps. I don't know, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> so random. That's so random. So we're doing drugstore against high end. I think my right side is going to be drugstore and then my left side is going to be high end. Opposite for you guys. But anyways, let's get into these. I'm so excited. So before this even starts, which side do you think is actually going to look better? I tried to pick out products that kind of are like similar, they're not like exact dupes, like come on now, but I try to pick similar like colors and just like a color scheme to kind of make them look similar. So down below right now, let me know which side do you think is going to look better, drugstore, high end, we may never know. So to prep the skin, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Water for the high-end side and then the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea on the right side. I like can't spray stuff with my left hand, so good luck, Shelby. So now to primers. So for the drugstore side, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth. And then on the high-end side, I'm doing the Benefit Professional. I feel like these are both kind of like the same consistency in a way. So they're both blurring and they're both smoothing. So let's see how well they work against each other. Now onto foundations. So I have like two of each. I might mix two each. I'm not really sure just because I'm a little extra. So for the high end I have the YSL All Hours and then the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. And then for the drugstore I have the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So I honestly just think I'm gonna like mix the two maybe just because I like mixing. I don't really know why I do that but just like my thing. Oh, I got an itch. Okay, so let's do a drugstore first. By the way, all of the products will be listed down below with the shades and everything, just to make this video a little shorter. So I'm gonna do drugstore first, these two foundations. And then I am gonna use my black beauty blender for both sides, just to make my life a little easier. For the high-end side, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and the YSL All Hours. For concealers today, I am going in with the Tarte Shape Tape High-End and the Maybelline Master Conceal. These are both very high coverage concealers, which is what I like. For a translucent powder, I'm going in with the Airspun Loose Powder and the Cover FX Loose Setting Powder. Uh, uh, uh. 
So now onto brows. For the high end side, I'm going in with the MAC um, eyebrows pencil. I don't know, that's all it says. And then for the drugstore side, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Brow L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. But let me tell you about the packaging for the L'Oreal one. I just got this and I just opened it. And you know how like they have that tight little like clear plastic packaging against them? It took me literally, not even kidding you, 10 minutes to get the plastic off of this L'Oreal pencil because it was such a sucky plastic that when like you pulled it down and usually it rips all the way, it would only go like this much and then this much. Than this much it would never go all the way it literally took me 10 minutes so honestly i don't think i'm ever gonna buy another one of these just for that reason like i'm that person that's like really l'oreal really invest in some better plastic like really never tried this l'oreal pencil so let's see how well it works because it better work freaking fabulous for the amount of time i spent trying to open this stupid thing Okay, so brows are finally done. Holy crap. This is the L'Oreal and this is the MAC. I don't have two different eyebrow gels, so I'm just using the NYX Control Freak on both sides. Sorry guys, I'm kind of cheating, but oh well. So this is just setting them in place so they don't move. Now on to bronzer. For the high end side, I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, and then the drugstore side, I'm going in with my e.l.f. bronzing palette. So for blush, I'm going in with the Anastasia Blush Trio in Peachy Love. And then for the drugstore side, I'm going in with the Essence Satin, what is this? Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. So for the Anastasia, I'm just going in with this shade just because it kind of matches the shade like perfectly. <laughs> And then on to highlight. So for the high end side, I'm going in with Becca Champagne Pop. And then for the drugstore side, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. These are both really similar, honestly, like if you look at them. So similar. That's it. crazy. So I'm not going to do eyeshadow today just because I couldn't really find two of my palettes that kind of like were really similar. So I think I'm just going to take the two bronzers and run these in my crease real quick. Alright, so now on to mascara. So, of course, I headed to the two rivals. So, for the drugstore, I'm doing the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And then, for the high-end, I'm doing the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Okay, so these are the two mascaras. Honestly, to me, they look identical. 
who would even know I feel like my whole face looks identical which that is the power of makeup honestly like that just shows that you really don't need to spend thousands of dollars on high-end makeup to get your face snatched one of the last things is lips and then setting spray and then we will be complete with this look so for lips I have like two different ones um, I can either do the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cowboy. And then I have the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in Ginger. These are both really similar in color. And then I have the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Give Me Mocha. And then the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Hawk Wind. So I think I'm actually going to swatch them on my hand to see which one is more similar. Alright, so I'm definitely going to do the L'Oreal and Kylie because they just match up better together. But I can show you that's the L'Oreal, that's Kylie, that's the um, Wet n Wild, and then that is um, Kat Von D. So of course L'Oreal is going on the right and then Kylie is going on the left. All I have to say right now is, wow, why are people spending 20 plus dollars on Kylie Cosmetics when you can get the exact same color for like eight? Bitch. That's insane. Like, look at L'Oreal, Kylie. Didn't even cheat. I'm going to keep that footage in just to make sure no one thinks I'm cheating. But anyways, that is insane. They're both really comfortable. The only thing is the L'Oreal definitely takes a little longer to dry down, but what's the big deal about that? Because it definitely dries down eventually. It just takes a little longer. So lastly, we are doing setting sprays. For the drugstore, I'm doing Milani Make It Last. And then for high end, I'm doing Urban Decay All Nighter. Alright guys, and this is the completed look. This is insane. Again, this is drugstore. This is all high-end. They literally look identical. Like, let me just, let me just go like this. Identical. Identical. That is insane. Um, I kind of want to like add up the prices. I'm definitely going to add up the prices. I don't have time right now, but I will later and I will leave it in the description box or it will be on the thumbnail. The total price of all the high-end products and the total price of the drugstore products if you guys are actually interested in just purchasing the drugstore products because why not save money to look exactly the same? Exactly the same. So I'm probably just as shocked as you. Um, this kind of is like a wake-up wake call to me that I don't need to spend hundreds of dollars to have good products in my beauty collection. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to join the S squad. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.